Hello, my name is Martin Kelly and uh, I am partner here at CJ Kelly Associates. We're Picotes UK Distribution and Warranty Centre and I wanted to give you a quick uh, how-to on uh, lubricating the shaft on your Picote Miller. So here we go, let's get stuck in. This black piece of aluminium here is the handguard. This protects the uh, protects you from the rotating parts underneath. You only need to undo this one bolt here to remove the handguard. Now we need a four mil Allen key, and this is to remove the four bolts on the shaft connector here. See that, two there and two there. You don't touch these three here. There we go, now the shaft should slide out. There we go. This is what we call the strain relief. And then you just need to, this might unscrew by hand, or if it's tight, use, a pipe, use the pipe wrench to undo it. There we go. What you might find if your shaft's been um, well used is that you need to trim back uh, this end. This one's quite new, but as the grub screws bind down onto the shaft, it, it weakens it. So um, just trim it off, make sure there's no bears, because what we're gonna do is pass the shaft uh, through the casing and the process of doing that, if there's any burrs in the way, you'll find that you'll start to scrape off some of the inner plastic, which we want to avoid. <coughs> there we go, so this end's been used. This is where we've had some tools bound down onto it. So I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a trim off. We make sure we've got approximately half a metre pulled out a metre of shaft and that will give us a void at the other end of the sheath for uh, inserting the oil. Now always check um, the instructions to get the correct amount of oil for the machine that you're using, should that be a maxi miller, super midi, midi miller, mini miller, micro miller, etc. So there we go, or power plus. And, um, I'm using a syringe here just because it's the easiest way to uh, add the oil to the sheath. The next step is to pass one end of your shaft into the sheath and just pass it through. There we go. Now what we actually recommend is that you do this every uh, three to four weeks to keep your machine uh, running smoothly. You'll find that if you keep on top, of, um, on top of your shaft and keep it lubricated, it will last a lot longer and it will run a lot smoother, keep your machine at peak performance. Um, so we trim the shaft down to get rid of the one uh, the one end but Obviously now we've made it shorter, so we need to remove just a little bit of sheath so that we can reconnect onto the machine So to reinstall It's quite simple. We just do the reverse of what we did earlier insert it through the frame through the underside of the uh, cable wheel cable drum We need to reattach the strain relief.
Next tip is uh, you will always have a gap like this left over at the end and the strain relief needs to be pushed back so you just grab, grab your sheath and slide back and that will slot into place. There's two locating pins here on the handguard and they go into the gearbox. There we go. And then we just hold that in place whilst we thread on the handguard bolt. So there we go, that's all finished. It really is that simple to lubricate your current machine. And the only thing we have to do now is wind it back on.